let's have a look at some media reports and the statistical ideas that we want to explore. So when we look at graphs um, in the media, and this could be in newspaper articles or magazine articles or on the internet, there are both good graphs and bad graphs. And I want to show you some examples of bad graphs just to give you some ideas of things to look for when we're deciding whether or not um, it's at a good or a bad graph. So what I've got here is I've got two side-by-side -side graphs. Now if I just look at the graphs, okay, if I just look at these two there, I can notice that most of the lines seem to be, that seems to be at the same size as this. And these all are starting to look, re you know, they're not too dissimilar. So we're starting to notice some similar patterns there. However, and this is when we've got to read the fine print. If I just go down to the bottom part, let's just write that. I want you to look at this scale here versus this scale here. So the one on the left, the one for the Linux, it goes from 0 up to 40. Whereas the one for Windows goes from 0 up to 80. So this scale here on the um, right hand side is much more compressed. That's going from 0 to 80. Whereas this one's only going 0 to 40. So it's half the size. So when we draw these graphs side by side, it's not a real good comparison because the scales are so different. If we were going to draw them more accurately, we should have the one here and that one like that. Okay, so the one on the right should be double the size of the one on the left. If we're going to do a comparison, it needs to have the same scale. So that's one of the things that we want to look for. Here's another one that is not a great graph. And three-dimensional pie charts are my pet hate. And the reason that I really don't like any three-dimensional graphs, but particularly three-dimensional pie graphs, is our brain, when we see a graph, it looks for the area to make comparisons. It doesn't think about volume when drawn on a piece of paper. So what I see here is it looks to me, just first glance, it looks like the Air Force is the biggest group. But if we actually go and look at the numbers, the Air Force is 26%, whereas the Army is 35%. And these two pieces look to be similar, or even the Air Force one being slightly bigger. Um, and comparative to the Navy, that's at 27%. These, the area that our brain sees when we look at this graph, it's, it doesn't represent accurately three-dimensional graphs, okay? So please, if at all possible, never, ever, ever draw three-dimensional graphs. Here, though, is some examples of what we call infographics, and these were made by Statistics New Zealand. So what we've got here, this is almost like a gold standard of some really good graphs. And I wanted to show you some ones that you've got some ideas of what to look for. This was information from the previous census, 2013 census. And what we've got here is we've got the different ethnic groups. And we've got, and it's hard to see because I've, scale, I've um, draw, zoomed this one down. That scale that I've just shown you there, this is actually the age scale going from year zero up to 100 years old, okay? And that's the true of all of them, zero up to 100, okay? What we should be able to see is just at a very straight glance is that on the left-hand side versus on the right-hand side, so that's our males versus our females, we can see for the different ethnic groups where the age groups are. So I can see, for example, in the European group, um, there is a bulk, the bigger group is around that middle age. When I look at the Māori, there's not so many at the top, but then there is a big bulk of group down the bottom. So there's a lot of very young Māori people. With the Asians, you can again see that bulge in the middle. Um, so there is, um, that's where the biggest population group for Asians is. 
Pacifica people again down the bottom, Middle Eastern in the middle. So by first glance, we can get a good overview of what's going on. And then they've given us a few very specific um, pieces of information looking at the changes. So it's not trying to overwhelm us with data, but it's trying to represent the data in a way that gives us a picture to see um, and highlighting some key differences. So the key piece of information there, for example, tells me the median age is 41 for European, 23.9 for Māori, 30.6 for um, Asian, 22.1 for Pacifica, and 28.6 for Middle Eastern um, slash Latin American slash African. So this is the kind of things we want to be able to notice when we look at good graphs.